Hello, I'm Mr. Rosenthal. As you can see, I've had a isolation shave and a backyard fade. Um, and during our time in lockdown, um, the media department and I have been messaging back and forth to decide what films you guys should watch um, while you're at home in between doing your homework. Um, we've separated into three lists. There's the best films for Key Stage 3 students, the best films for Key Stage 4 students, and the best films for Key Stage 5 students. We've done that because of age recommendations. So if you're Key Stage 3, don't watch the Key Stage 4 films because they're out of your age range. Okay, here we go. So the first one is uh, Back to the Future. Um, it's wonderful. It's... 80s it's time travel you could do the trilogy in an in a day totally worth it number two is uh willy wonka and the chocolate factory it's from 1971 it's absolute magic um it doesn't really make a lot of sense and the plot is well it's a mess but it's fantastic number three is independence day this is what 90s summer blockbusters used to be Full of cheese, little bit of schmaltz, and practical special effects. Amazing. Number four is E.T. E.T. is about a boy who finds an alien in his back garden who's been left behind by his family, and he goes to try and phone home. Number five. Number five is The Goonies. Um, it's a group of kind of rough and tumble kids who go on this kind of treasure hunt to try and save their small town from being... I don't know, knocked down for a shopping mall. It was very 80s. It's really, really good. Number six is Jurassic Park. Um, it's great performances. It's great music. It's great special effects. It's from 1993 and it still holds up today. It's amazing. Number seven is Mrs. Doubtfire, starring the late, great Robin Williams. Um, he's kind of a voiceover artist slash actor who um, dresses up as a Scottish nanny so he can see his kids more. Um, so many rules being broken. But it's really, really good. Number eight. Number eight is The Iron Giant. Um, probably the best animated film of all time. Where an alien crashes into a small town in the 50s. And the US government tries to blow him up. But a kid kind of looks after him. Really good. Number nine and number ten are both classics way before... Um, my time. Number nine is Mary Poppins. Um, just live action mixed with cartoons and musical and stuff. It's really nice. And, and number 10 is Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, written by uh, Ian Fleming, who wrote all the James Bond books. Um, it's about a flying car. It's brilliant. So yeah, that was the best Key Stage 3 films. The first one, number one, is Attack the Block. Attack the Block, on the surface, is about a group of um, about half a dozen kids on a South East London council estate kind of being a little bit naughty. And then all of a sudden, aliens invade, and they have to kind of defend their block from the aliens. Really, really good. Really, really real, actually, considering it's about aliens. Number two, it's The Godfather. Godfather, classic film about a bygone era where um, it's just everything was kept in the family. Money, murder, crime, just what gangster films should be. Uh, number three is Amelie. It's a French film and it has subtitles, but don't let that put you off. It's about this naive girl in Paris who goes around helping people, or not helping people in some states. It's really, really good. Definitely worth a watch. Number four is Atomic Blonde set in 1989 in Berlin, just before the Berlin Wall came down. Um, Charlize Theron is a MI6 agent kind of hunting down the murderer of her boyfriend. Just action-packed, brutal. Oh, go feminism. Number five. Number five is Get Out. I'm sure you've all seen it. Um, I don't know if it's a horror film. I don't know if it's a slow-burning sci-fi. I don't know if it's about race. But I imagine it's yes to all of those questions. It's absolutely amazing. And number six, the last film in our best films for Key Stage 4 is um, Shawshank Redemption. 
It's about a wrongfully accused guy, Andy Dufresne, who goes to uh, prison and make for years and years and years and makes friends along the way. It's really heartwarming, really heartfelt. Um, didn't make a lot of money when it was at the cinema. Um, like it was panned by everybody, but it found its um, audience on video and DVD. Totally worth it. And that was it, the best Key Stage 4 films. Um, the first one, well, technically it's two. It's Terminator 1 and Terminator 2. The first two in the ridiculous franchise. Don't bother watching the rest. Um, you'll just be disappointed. Uh, number two is Fight Club. Fight Club starring uh, Brad Pitt and Edward Norton. They uh, start a fight club, but it turns into some philosophical movement where they want to kind of you know, take down the big banks, which is quite um, relevant for a few years ago. Number three is Her, starring Joaquin Phoenix, the geezer from The Joker. He falls in love with an AI version of Siri, voiced by Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, it was really good. Totally worth it, though. Number four and five are kind of pocketed them together. It's Wonder Boys and Starter for Ten. They're about life at a American university and a British university. Um... Hey, if you want to prepare for university in September, these two films aren't a bad way to go about it. Number six is Goodfellas, possibly the greatest gangster film of all time. Maybe it's better than The Godfather. I think it is. I enjoyed it more. It's one of my favourite films. Number seven is Pulp Fiction, directed by Tarant Quentin Tarantino. Um, it's a fantastic example of how time can be manipulated in film kind of without Tarantino Christopher Nolan would be just you know nothing number eight and technically number nine is uh Kill Bill volume one and volume two um again directed by Tarantino starlet starring um Uma Thurman as the bride trying to get revenge on her husband or Bill um after she was kind of attacked at a wedding while she was pregnant Number 10, I think we're on number 10, is um, Silence of the Lambs from 1991, starring Jodie Foster. Um, it's just, and Anthony Hopkins as uh, Hannibal Lecter. It's one of the only three films of all time to win the big five at the Oscars. So, best actor, best actress, best film, best director, best adapted screenplay. Um, it's a psychological horror film where a rookie FBI agent hunts down a cannibal with the help of a cannibal who's in prison. Um, don't watch it at night, it will give you nightmares yeah, and that's it, that was the best Key Stage 5 films um, well, I hope you enjoyed um, this video um, yeah have fun on lockdown <laughs>